So let's make a three view or an orthographic projection. We'll start out by choosing new and using our project of the way templates we would use an ANSI A drawing. A size is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, this will prompt us uh, for some information and we can put in uh, the part name what scale it is we're going to use. I'm going to guess I'm using a scale of 4 to 1. This is going to be sheet 1 of 1. And it's DDP period 8 and 9. We'll say OK. That'll pre-populate this here. If, for instance, we want to change something like the scale or the part name, we can always go here to the field text, double click on it, and change what it is. Like let's say for instance I choose a different scale later, I can come in here and change the, the scale to 6 to 1 and say OK. And it'll change it on my sheet. So that's how I, I go about doing that. So I need to bring in my base view first. So I'm going to click on base view and then I'm going to go select the part file that I want to bring in and I can click and get a preview. Um, let's do this part and we're going to say open and now we get to choose our view and so if we take a look we see that our view is pretty small we can scale that up. Let's make this scale uh, let's try 3 to 1. Alright that's a little bit better it might be a little big uh, we can say 2.5 to 1 that's fine um, and if that's the view we want, it's not, we can choose the view up here. We can choose current, we can choose top view. I'd really like to have that view as my front view. And then from that, right from there, all I have to do to do my projected views is to click and drag. Right click when I'm done with my three views and say create. And that will create my views for me. And if I don't like them, just always make sure you pick the right view for here. Um, I'm going to undo these for a second and pick a different view. So let's go to base view, select the same file again, open it, and let's go with that as my front view. And that is my top view. That is my right view. And I'm also going to put an isometric up in the corner. Right click say create. That makes all my views. I can also do some editing too by double clicking on this it'll give me the drawing view panel and in the drawing view panel I can say make this a solid please and it'll make this solid when I get out of it and I'm going to change the scale of this. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller also uh, because it's really just an extra 1.5 to 1. We'll say OK. And it'll make it smaller and it'll make it gray as well. And that's how I do a three view drawing. If, for instance, um, I decide that that's not where I want it, I can hover inside that red box and I can move it. Notice I can't move it left to right because it's tied to the base view. And notice this one I can't move up or down because it's tied to the base view. But I can adjust my views this way and I can leave room so that I can put uh, dimensions in between views like I'm supposed to. And that's really how you do an orthographic projection or a three view drawing.